Yeah, Alyssa, come on, hurry up. I'm going! Shh. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? That's great. That's great, yeah. This is really worth it right now. All right, okay, okay, I'm stop. We're stop. We're gonna do we're gonna watch. I'm I'm Ryan, this is Alyssa. Turn no, it off. Turn it off. Crazy. Turn ah! it off. I'm so excited. Alright. You look like a hunchback. Dude, I've been pressing the refresh button on Twitter and this thing since freaking 545. And I'm stoked. Blast these speakers. Mike's on, right? <laughs> Ah! It's happening! <laughs> Who are you? I'm no one. I have so many goosebumps. <laughs> I was raised to do one thing. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. There are stories about what happened. It's true. <laughs> no! Wow! A Jedi. They're real. The Force. It's calling to you. No shit tickets are now available. <laughs> fucking internet's not Dude, fucking been, working because I've been waiting for like forever. Ever. It's been fucking like three hours of me refreshing the goddamn Fandango <laughs> he's, site. He's been refreshing the Fandango site. I've been sitting here refreshing Jeez. this to watch the freaking cherry I, 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 we're trying to buy. I need to watch that again because I'm like, <laughs> I, I was so like, oh my God, Star Wars the whole time <laughs> in my brain that I was like, wait, what's going on? All right. Oh, it's so exciting. Like, oh, like I've had goosebumps the entire time. Like, oh. All right, let's lower this a little bit. It just has the signature Star Wars look. It does. It's. It feels so. It doesn't feel like it doesn't fit. It's yeah. So dis. Like it's not Disney. What I'm saying. It's. It's Star Wars. Like this is. <sighs> She's beautiful. Agreed. Yes. I was raised to do one thing. It's gonna be an I epic fight. To fight oh, yeah. for. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish. What you started. started. What you started. He's gonna, he's gonna be the new guy we impersonate. <laughs> I just want to get every moment of this trailer down. Just 
it in. <laughs> I remember when I said those words to my girlfriend, oh. the force awakened at that moment. Let me tell you, we were both pretty forceful. <laughs> That's what I got from this Star Wars trailer. <laughs> it's so exciting! Wow, what a beautiful <laughs> fucking trailer. I, I just want to get lost in this world all over again. Um, I just straight like watched that for hours, hours on repeat tonight. I can't. I cannot get over this. I just love how it looks like the original Star Wars trilogy. Oh, you know, you it, know that, it feels like Star Wars. The one of the letdowns to me of the first three episodes was that it felt so tech, more technologically advanced. It seemed the, like a distant cousin to Star Wars. Yeah, the story got lost to the technology, and it was like, oh, look what we can do! All yeah. the things instead of, hey, this is Star Wars. It's awesome. I feel like this is going back to creating an epic story, yeah. but with the technology to support the story, yeah. and not the other way around. Yeah. I'm really excited for that. I mean, it, it looks like they're giving us what we really want. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, we're getting new interesting characters, for sure. I want to know more about who John Boyega is playing. You know, it mm -hmm. looks like he's going down the Luke Skywalker path, because at one point, Luke Skywalker was, you know, a right. storm dressed as a stormtrooper, right. but he was really a Jedi. Maybe this could be Luke Skywalker's, um, you know, black child. This could be his child out of wedlock. Predecessor? I'm thinking Luke Skywalker had sex with a black chick, had that black child out of wedlock. Totally cheated could be on. Um, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> We have to wait and find out. Even just the trailer, like from the glimpse, it's not even even like a huge thing, but like the glimpse that we got feels like it has a story. Trailers don't usually feel like they have a story. It's like, oh, hey, this is a thing that's happening and this is a thing you should watch. But this is something that you could watch over and over and over and it's still exciting. I don't know. I, I, I don't even fully fathom that this is actually happening. I know. Uh, like this <laughs> sort of seems like a fan made trailer to me. It's like, Why? I'm saying that in a great way. You know when you see like a great like fan made trailer and you're like, I wish this was real. Well, because fans That's, know what the fans want. Yeah, and I feel like this movie is being created by fans. I get what you're and saying. And it's all in support and dedication to the fans. <gasps> you know, that's why they know how to bring back the original cast. You know, they're really yeah, I know, I love that the original cast is coming back, or a lot of it from what I understand. Yeah, they got Han Solo in there. Yeah. We, from the trailer, Princess Leia, we've heard Mark Hamill's voice in the other one. So, yeah. The whole gang's back. I want, they're also telling like the story to the new characters like, no, these were legends, you know? Right. It gets you to think about Star Wars and how we experienced that growing up and now they're bringing it back and we're like, what yeah, I, Star Wars was legendary. Well, what I'm wondering is like, yeah, it's legendary and obviously it's like legendary for, for these characters in the film, but what I'm curious about is that they say like they've heard stories and like, yeah, it's legend. Did the Force leave? Like, or not leave, but like, has it gone undetected? Like, is something happening where the Force is coming back and it's just been like, not there? To me, what I'm picking up on is that Return of the Jedi is when the war ended and it right. seems like another war is about to happen. Someone who wants to carry on Darth Vader's legacy right. and fulfill the dark prophecy or whatever. Right. So I feel like so many years have gone by that people have sort of forgotten about our heroes. That's the idea behind what J.J. Abrams does so well. It's he knows how to build so much mystery and intrigue to a story that we're not so clear what it's about yet. He knows how to hype it in such a way where you're like, I gotta find out what's going on. It looks like they're honoring the original Star Wars and updating it in terms of visual imagery mm. in the right moments. Like right. they're keeping a lot of the practical effects, a lot of the suits and stuff look very similar to the original. They're not like completely changing it. No. But they're adding better visual style with cinematography, better visual action sequences. Mm -hmm. in the, so I feel like they're adding at the right moments. Right. And, but they're still honoring the original look a lot. Right. Which I... I'm very grateful for that. I just feel like a lot of hell's gonna break loose in this film, you know? Like, oh, yeah. you got you got so much imagery of like, ah! Like, people yelling, crying, and, you know, Han Solo and, and uh, you know, Leia are like hugging each other, and then he like starts pushing her head down because he wants a blowjob. Remember that part? They cut, the, they cut to the next scene right before we saw Leia You're ruining Leia it for me. You're ruining it for me. Han Don't Solo's do that. Dick. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know what? Han Solo said to Chewie. <laughs> he said, Hey Chewie, you want to DP this or you want me to go Han Solo on this? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know, Tyrone is a great one. I'm really interested to see who the bad guy is. 
know. Really interested to see the bad guy is. J.J. Abrams, for the most part, he knows how to create great villains, memorable villains, you know, with Mission Impossible 3 and Benedict Cumberbatch and Star Trek Into Darkness. I feel like oh, this yeah. guy knows how to do and how to capture villains well. This villain, I'm really intrigued. Like, after all these years, who's like, I really want to carry on Darth Vader's? Did Darth Vader have another kid? Queen Amidala had Luke Skywalker and Leia, and then... <laughs> Anakin Skywalker was just lonely in the in space for like 20 something years. But the dude's gonna get a little horny. You know? He's gonna unleash the force in some way. Oh my god, stop! Show them his dark side, you know what I mean? <laughs> sounds like sounds like he, he's doing this without consent. <laughs> Sorry guys. I really want to know the the fight scene with John Boyega and the and the and the I don't know the dark the Sith or whatever yeah, whoever the dark side guy is. That looks like such an epic fight because you could already see the body language in their fight. How the the bad guy is like fucking just fuck you. I'm walking up to you, right, and then right. even though he whips out his his uh, lightsaber to defend himself, he's still like scared, and it's like I gotta do this. It really feels like a hero you can relate with already. Well, the thing is too is that we've seen bits and pieces from this scene for like a year like the first i think it was one of the first if not the first glimpse of this one of this whole movie that we saw was just a couple of seconds from that scene there's something really significant and i'm just so excited <laughs> yeah i want to I, I, that probably might be the scene everyone's going to be walking out of the theater talking about. Some, oh, yeah. Something yeah. tells me it's going to be that scene anyway guys thanks for saying that trailer actually none of you said that I rely on you guys to tell me when the trailers are out. And you failed. You failed. I had to refresh the pages, filter searches to find this fucking trailer. But thank you anyway, guys, <laughs> for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects and become a Rejectabot today. Is that what we're calling them now? Uh, re rejectina. Reject oh. Get your Rejectina fucked. And get Alyssa Be Crazied up on the Alyssa Be Crazy channel. Come visit me and say hi. Follow us on all our social networks. You know, the Facebook, the Instagrams, the Twitters, the fa all that shit. Let's do a shout out. <laughs> Eli Chance. Hey Ryan, can I get a shout out? I've been watching your awesome videos a few months now. You're cool. And keep up the great work from your new friend, Eli. Also, XD, also, which movie are you more excited for? Civil War or Batman v Superman? <laughs> Huh, Batman v Superman. Come on, Marvel dishes out a new movie like every three months. Eli Chance, you know what, man? I'm gonna take a chance here. A lot of subscribers look like serial killers. No, they don't. I'm gonna see if Eli Chance looks like a serial... He does not he look does like it. a serial killer. It looks like we could be friends. It looks like, like we could that. be... He looks like John Boyega. See, this is good. This is good. You know, you got John Boyega you know, leading the new Star Wars film, and now you got Eli Chance. We're gonna close out this video with a subscriber who is black. This is good, this is good. This is about time I redeem myself because people think I'm racist sometimes, but I'm trying to prove, Eli, you're helping me give a chance, an Eli Chance, to prove I'm not racist, dog. Thank you, Holmes. Shout out to you, my brother from another mother. I still don't think you look like a serial killer, so. Well, I don't think he does either. That's why you my bro. Mm-hmm. Word. Please don't do that. <laughs> I'm just trying to fit in. Wait, wait, I wanna do my thing. Can, can you let me do my thing? I wanna do my thing. All right, hurry up. So much prep time. Ta -da, ta -da. I'm gonna be that person sitting behind you in the theater. I am sorry. I apologize in advance, but this is so happy! I'm excited. I'm totally bringing this to the theater. I'm gonna be that one person just waving it around.